Okay, I think we're live. Someone's asking what is LFG. Cute. Okay, I'm just waiting. Just setting it up, waiting. This is much better. So it was very weird because yesterday I forgot to enable. Yesterday I forgot to enable HD on my if some Zoom settings. So it was very stupid. Now I got everything set up. So now it's easy, busy, and nice. Uh, again, we'll just wait for a few more minutes for people to join, and then we'll begin. Okay. Few more minutes for people to join, and then we'll start. How's everyone? LFG. How's everyone? Welcome to another session, which is the weekend research session. I think I missed it last time. Last week, I think we missed the weekend research session. I think now we're back with the weekend research session, so that's back. Um, but I'm excited for this session. I'll tell you why I'm I'm kind of happy about this session, or I'm actually looking forward for this session. Um, because two things, right? One, I'm going to talk about what happened with Facebook, what happened with Meta. So a little bit of US stock market and understanding from that perspective also. Number one, uh, we're going to talk about that first. And second, what we're going to talk about is I've, I'm, I'm looking for a stock in India. I was just doing my research about this entire budget and finance. I think I found something nice. Um, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show that I'm not invested in it yet. I'm still doing my research. So I thought I might as well do the research with you um, so we can check it. Okay um streaming from zoom not again man quality sucks can't help it guys this is the one time where i have to stream which i'm when i'm not at home i have to stream from my laptop uh every time i'm at home so it's easy but i'm not in bangalore i'm in bombay right now for like a for a for a day or two i'm back on monday but i mean we'll have to compromise a little bit on that because i can't do mad quality production on a piece of laptop right so hope that's okay with you guys thoda compromise here there everywhere is okay Remaining times I'm at home, so it's okay. Once in a while I come out like this. I still try not to miss my weekend research as much as possible because for me also it's a fun time to just sit with you guys. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, let me know. We'll begin the session today. Send winner's presentation, guys. It was already there. The winner's presentation. It's already there in that Excel sheet. You can have a look at it whenever you're free. It's there in that Excel sheet. So don't. Uh, okay. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. Bonjour from France. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, chalo. Let me see how much lag is there first. In fun time to do. Okay, cool. Now, uh, no video is not lagging. It's just stopping once in a while because I'm also doing something here. I'm gonna stop that. Either way, I'm just gonna start doing the uh, weekend research. So today is basically for all the people. People who don't know today is a very chill session. Today is not something that you know we're, we're on a time limit. We're not on a time limit. Um, we will sit here do a lot of research. So today we're going to do two types of uh, uh, we're going to do two types of research today. One is I'm going to look at Facebook Meta where, and the result that came out on Meta number one and two. I'm also going to look at one stock that I've been seeing from a, from a time and three. I'm going to do one one research from what you guys tell me. Okay, so three things that we're going to do today. Chalo, let's uh, begin. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen guys? Hey, Hina, how are you? First time coming over to the account. Thank you. Okay. I hope you guys can see my screen. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Now, how many of you saw what happened to Facebook or Meta? Uh, by the way, Meta is the Meta is the new name for Facebook today. Uh, by the way, if you know that, so META is the new name for Facebook. Now, how many of you saw what happened to Facebook and it fell a lot? They wiped out approximately two hundred billion dollars in a single given point of time, which is quite massive for any company, and it is also the single biggest fall in the stock market. It is the single biggest fall. In the stock market, right? Let me just check if it's streaming and screening. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Now, look at what's happening to the stock price. This is exactly what happened. Now, this reminds me of something familiar. Okay, this reminds me of something that we see sometimes in our own um, Indian stock market, where you see something suddenly falling 20, 25 percent down. So, if you look at Facebook, it actually fell approximately 30 percent down in the last one month. In the last one month, it's down by 30 percent, uh, and in the last one year, it's down by around 11 percent. Just Look at how steep this fall is, right? Look, look at how steep this fall is. Now, when I do my research today, and when I show you what I'm actually going to show you, you will have a lot of questions. You will be like, you know what, Shashank, uh, what, why did it fall down so much? Number one, right? 
Shishang, look at the fundamentals and let's look at the revenue, right? If you look at the revenue, you will understand that the revenue is fine. The financials were okay. But why did this fall happen? Why did this drop happen? And is the 26% drop justified is the question I want to ask for you today. So today we're going to do that research. Cool. I remember IRCTC. That was like a stock split, guys. Chill. Uh, but yeah, but IRCTC also fell approximately 20% that day when they came and said that some of the revenue has to go to the government. And then government came and said, no, there's nothing like this. It's all lies. Don't worry. Okay, but let's look at this. Okay, now I want to show you, I'm going to Meta's main website, which is the investor relations website. And I'm going to look at the um, press release that they gave with respect to their finances and what they have spoken about it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just, I'm going to just show you the finances first. And then you, then I'm going to show you one by one, why did it fall and is the fall all justified and did it actually have to fall 26 percent because if this is normal right and i keep getting irritated about market expectations so let's look at this also cool now look at this total revenue is approximately as of december 31st 2000 this one right as of december 31st 2021 the nine month uh, three months ended quarter for them their currently their revenue was around 33 billion right compared to 28 billion in last year but then let's look at q q1 q here q1 q change year on your change is 20 percent growth in revenues q1 q change is also there year ended change is also there so overall everything is positive look at this the revenue is 33 billion dollars total cost 21 and if you look at their eps slight dip in eps 3.88 to 3.67 now 3.88 to 3.67 will not justify this drop of 26 percent right Ye to thoda hai right? It is very little, but why did it go so much? So low, so low. It is insane, right? We will look at that. Look at the daily active and the monthly active users, 8% growth in the DAP, which is daily active users, family, daily active users, family means all, all their group accounts, right? Each and every account of the group um, is going up 9% year on year, even for their monthly active people, Facebook's active users also increased. Facebook's monthly active also increased ad impressions also increased. Everything's increasing. Then why did it go down? Right now, I know you guys have all read the news articles and it said, okay, Facebook crashed, uh, but it was not because of the financial, the fi financials were fine. It crashed because of some other reason. And I'll tell you what that other reason is. Yeah. Now coming down, all this is looking good, right? Now this is their revenue segmentation, revenue from segment in millions. Okay. This is in millions. So look at the revenue that they're getting majority of the revenue, literally everything, all their revenue is coming from advertising revenue, right? Look at this so much advertising revenue itself is coming. Other revenues, barely anything. 155 million that's it but 32 billion dollars is coming only from advertising revenue and this is another bus business that they're currently investing in which is reality labs reality labs is their metaverse investment it's their oculus rift investment now that is still not doing well there is still a loss uh that is happening some storm spider saying there's a dip in active users no it's not a dip in active users i'll tell you what exactly is happening right it's not a dip it's actually growing year on year even if i go to the third quarter result, third quarter results that's on this website um the, there's no dip in the users i'll tell you what is the actual problem now here we come to the C, cfo outlook commentary uh cfo outlook commentary is something that is very weird and we will look at what is happening with the cfo outlook commentary okay now look at this three things that are affecting Facebook's price a lot. Okay. So the number one thing that's affecting Facebook price a lot is the change in Apple's iOS policy. Now Apple has done this new change. Okay. Look at this. Apple has done that new change in their policy and they're calling it Apple transparency tracking or ATT or something like that, uh, uh, where they have changed the iOS privacy policy, where there is complete transparency into what your data, where your data is going and what is happening. And you can opt out of it if you really want to. So first, and the fact that the CFO of Facebook actually came out and addressed this entire thing, right. Uh, came out and addressed this entire thing itself was a big issue. And this was one of the biggest reasons why the company actually went down now if you look at this first we will lap a period in which ios changes were not in effect and we anticipate increasing and targeting measurement helmets from the platform from both regulatory and platform standards so because of this they're expected to lose billions of dollars in this entire year because of the change in apple's policy now whenever there's a change in something like this when there's a change in apple's policy what happens is all the these guys who are using all your data, right? They have all these trackers, they have cookies, uh, all of these small, small things is going to get affected massively. So when all of these things happen, it becomes a big issue. Guys, there's a small lag. I can see, let me do one thing. Let me just pause this video. Let me restart the video again. Maybe the, hopefully the lag should go. Okay. Just give me a sec. Let me just pause this video once. I'll uh, 
okay hopefully this should solve uh, the lag issue not sure why the lag is happening uh, but bear with me right okay okay can you guys hear me now i mean guys if you can adjust a little bit it'll be great even i don't know why this lag is happening i've never seen such a lag happen in the past uh it's a weird lag because it's lagging after 15 20 seconds so hopefully now it shouldn't lag if it's still lagging is it because of the hd stream i don't know but if it's still lagging let me know i will uh stop it i mean i will see if we can do something else but i don't think it's because of that um uh, internet is not an issue but it's okay now just want to hear you guys if it's okay now something else but i don't Now it's okay. Nice. Sorry, guys. What can't help it. Sometimes weird issues happen. Let me go back. I don't like losing the train of thought because uh, when I'm actually showing something, I like it. Cool. Okay. Chalo. Let's begin. Now, what was I saying? Yeah. So Apple has changed it, which includes your meta data getting changed, and this is going to affect them a lot. Second thing, and this is so weird, and I've just realized this when I saw this actual issue. I realized this that this can also be a problem. Now look at the weird problem. Okay, look at this weird problem. The next problem is what they're saying is second we will. So what is happening is there's a big problem with respect to the impressions. Now what happens is when you are on your phone today, right? You are You're on Instagram. You are on Facebook. You are on YouTube. Some of you guys were on TikTok. Now you're not on TikTok, but a lot of other people are on TikTok. A uh, lot of people are on different platforms and different websites right now. Number one, correct. Now, if you look at this, what they're saying on the impression side, expect continuous headwinds, which is a problem. Both increased competitions for people's time and a shift of engagement within our apps. So this. is also creating a slight small issue uh the reason why this is creating a small issue is because again everyone's trying to lap up the time space that they have everyone wants the attention of you on your user as a phone and this is creating a small issue again there's a lag okay that's so weird mm. okay guys let me just restart the stream itself just give me a sec not sure how this is constantly lagging like this let me just go to video settings Let me remove HD. I'm just removing HD for now because that's the only thing I changed since last night. Okay, I'm just going to keep talking. Let me know if the lag is bad or not, or maybe because is there a lag because? Uh, or what I can do is I can switch off my video and then do screen share. If the lag is not happening here, then the lag is happening in screen share. So that's also very weird. Let me try that. Is it because of the screen share? video gets stuck for 1 second i mean come on guys i mean that's that's okay i mean if there's an audio video lag uh, then i get it but if there's a 1 second lag don't look at me it's fine don't look at me it's okay uh lag in screen share no but it's okay see it's not about the lag in screen share i'm not showing you something that is very different it's the same thing that i'm showing you right so let me just check yeah this should pop up right now Yeah, I'll just try switching off video one second. I think that should help. I'll come back when I have to just do a monologue. Okay. So we heard. I hate doing uh, weekend research on my laptop, but I still have to. Like, I still love doing it because I get to sit with you guys and do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna switch off my video and try doing this because this should not be lagging. should not be lagging use camera through obs i don't think there's much difference man on obs because uh, i'll try i'll try setting up obs as well okay i'll try setting up obs as well i'm just waiting for the screen share to kick in yeah i'm just waiting for the screen share to kick in that's also ha having issues now What the hell is happening? Let me just do. This is the most weird thing I've seen. Yeah, man, this is a new. Uh, 
Okay, is the screen share visible? Just tell me if the screen share is visible. I'm just going to wait until the screen share pops up properly and then we'll begin. Okay. I'm quite confused. Why don't you start a Discord server? No, man. Discord server is going to help much. Let me just check. I mean, this should also not create an issue. I mean, the speed is quite good. It's uh, some something else. It's some connectivity issue. I think I'm just waiting. Uh, I'll start when you guys tell me to start. Okay. I mean, it's quite okay. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Either way, can I continue? Let's continue. Let's clear. Why don't you come on Twitter space? Hey, I keep coming on Twitter space. Uh, I came recently on Twitter space as well. It's not an issue at all. It's the Chrome zoom, uh, optimization that is creating an issue. I think that's what it is, but either way, let's just continue. Right? So yeah, a couple of things again, the results of Facebook was good, not bad, but they are having problems because TikTok is eating up market share. Number one, number two is the regulatory changes in the Apple's privacy policy is also creating an issue. Number two, number three, what they're saying, you know, this is look at this, this is so weird. Because of macroeconomic challenges, such as cost inflation, and you know, inflation has gone up a lot and supply chain disruption, supply chain disruption means because of COVID, a uh, lot of issues were happening with respect to the freight charges. And, you know, if you look at the freights that are happening, the shipping industry or the logistic industry took a big hit. Now, because of supply chain destruction and cost inflation, a lot of companies marketing budgets started reducing. Now look at Facebook's entire business, their entire business is on marketing and advertising, right? That you will come and advertise on Facebook. But if the marketing budgets of people are actually going down, then Facebook revenue starts growing down, going down, which creates a massive issue. So could you ever impact a COVID would actually have an invariable impact on Facebook, which is a tech company into an ultra effect like this, right? Where people's marketing budget is going out and then this, this creates an issue. Now, this is another very big issue that they're facing, right? And apart from that, their meta so now they also spoke about something about their meta what is meta which uh, they spoke about their oculus rift and they spoke about meta you metaverse that they're actually creating now if you look at oculus rift and metaverse also right what people are saying is hey facebook you're investing heavily right now on this but the revenues that come from this is very le and very less and it'll come much later in time four five years later in time what is happening with Facebook and the main reason why it's going down, first of all, two things, right? One thing that I really don't like, which is the market expectations. Market is expecting this much. They performed here. So the stock market crashed. But the second thing that actually affected Facebook a lot was that the user growth is not happening. It didn't dip. I mean, it actually dipped by, you know, how much a lot of people are saying the users dip, the daily active users dip. It dipped by 1 million users. There are billions of users. It dipped by just 0 0.01 billion. Right. That's how their user dipped. But the problem is this was the first dip since 2009, number one. And number two, this shows that there is no growth potential. So the fear or this stock price falling by 25% is more on the fear element. Ki boss, aage kya hai, right? What is there for this company? Because if their users don't grow and they don't have a lot of users on their platform, what will happen? Uh, you cannot do ads, right? Because people will be like, dude, why should I come and do ads here? I'll just go do ads somewhere else. Facebook also said in another commentary that because of the entire changes that's happening in this world, now they're pushing reels more and reels. When you do ads on reels, it is very less. So Facebook gets a small commission on ads on reels and they don't get a lot of money on ad on reel compared to Facebook stories and videos. So if you look at the way the reels department has come in or the TikTok generation has kicked in, they don't make a lot of money on reels, right? So the revenue forecast is also looking bleak. Uh, if you look at the subscriber count, it is also looking bad. But if you look at their financials, it looks, it looks great, right? If I go to fundamental analysis, um, and do say quarterly review for now, right? Look at this December 33 billion constant growth. So the financial trend is that everything's all the trend is good from a financial perspective. Even EPS is pretty much good, right? If you look at their uh, cash flow, right? To see if, are the net income positive, or if you want to look at their free cash flow, right? Look at this. They have free cash flow of around $12.73 billion, free cash of $12.73 billion. So from a fundamental perspective, there's nothing wrong, but from the other stuff, like for example, your user dipping is happening. North America user dip is happening. A lot of people are moving away and going into other formats, right? But from a fundamental perspective, it's great. So now the question comes here, Facebook has to start getting its users back up. Okay. Now there's two ways this can do, do this very similar to our IT companies in India. 
what are these two ways that they can do this right one is they can they have to spend more money on ads because in the last few years if you realize facebook has been getting bombarded by these uh, government agencies why because their privacy policies and you know you go to some website and you just uh, scroll something suddenly you see the ad of that company on facebook and you're like dude what the hell who's tracking my data and now they become used to it to be honest but another way they can do this is they have to start buying they have to start buying companies the reason why they have to start buying companies is because they have ton of cash in their pocket and if they start buying companies like how they bought whatsapp how they bought instagram automatically user growth will come suddenly their users will be much more now so they have to buy something that's trending now another alternate impact happened so when this one went down when facebook went down do you know what happened to snapchat obviously when there's a big social media company going down another social media company comes up right let me just show you snapchat it went up by 21% and actually went up much more than 21% in the last, in that last one day uh, but last one day in the last trading day past trading day it went up by $14 or it went up by 60% because facebook fell down this went up by 60% right look at this <laughs> it's insane this is the jump that happened with snapchat because people are getting scared about facebook's future growth and there's two things that can happen right if facebook's future growth goes down other companies will start doing well or facebook will come and acquire some other company also so a lot of things are going on we don't know what's going to happen but i would not count mark zuckerberg out yet because from a fundamental perspective it's great all he has to figure out is getting um, what he has to start figuring out how to get users to get retained number one and start figuring out how to make facebook cool again and knowing him i'm pretty sure he'll do make facebook cool again so is this an opportunity dip or is this a real dip only time will tell but what i am going to do is i am going to pick up some uh, meta stocks right now a lot of people are saying for the next 3 months meta is not going to move um, the reason why uh, meta is not going to move is because the result was bad and they're putting a lot of efforts into metaverse which is a 5 year game 10 year story 5 year story not abika story uh, but whatever it is it's going to be bad right now for the next few years but they have a lot of cash they have a lot of cash reserves so i'm going to start buying some of meta stocks right now after this dip because i know in the grand scheme of things if they survive this if meta survives this and continues and is there for the next 10 years this will be the beautiful most amazing dip that you will ever see in your life right so i'm going to do it from that perspective cool now coming back to indian stocks ye tha apna foreign stocks now i was doing some research on the construction space okay i was doing some research on the construction space and i happened to fall upon a company and i'm just going to do research i have not invested in this i was doing my research today on it and then i said okay you know what i'll just do it with you guys so not a stock recommendation i don't even know whether it's good or bad i just want to do the research with you but i've been looking i just came to know about this stock today which is in the infrastructure space and i think you can see it on my screen as well uh which is jtl infra right now just to give you a small uh showcase of both if you look at this so jtl infra is basically manufacturer and supplier of steel tubes pipes and other manufacturing facilities in india um if you look at their revenue segmentation galvanized iron pipes accounted for 40% of their sales growth and the other pipes are 22% 32% and 7% in this so this i'm just doing weekend research with my stock first and then uh i will do one stock from your end cool now if you look at this where is their uh, industrial applications If you look at this in FY twenty one, industry infrastructure industry, which is something that's booming right now, is going to be for it was forty percent of their sales. Construction, which is also going to boom right now, now is thirty five percent of the sales. Irrigation and water transport, which is also going to boom right now, is thirteen percent sales. So apart from engineering and heavy vehicle, forty thirty thirteen, right? So a lot of the uh, things that we see right now in this stock uh, looks like it's going to do really well for this stock. Again, I'm just still doing research. Uh, no that was not a tool uh, for stock research that was vested what i was showing you because i just go there and check it gives me enough data i mean enough normal data uh, but if you want another uh, website you can look at that my wall street my wall street uh, website uh, but i think that's paid this is free so i just use it for now um but yeah this looks quite interesting so i want to do a bit quick research on this might do good might do bad uh, i haven't bought bought it yet disclosure i'm planning to buy it on monday Uh, on monday or tuesday but i'll tell you why so in the last one year if you look at jtl infra trend it has been quite significant it's a small cap company 1500 crore company very very small company but if you look at the trend in the last one year it was at 47 rupees and now it's at 257 rupees constantly going up number 
right? Number two, I'm just going to go down. The P ratio is at 76, which is slightly higher because the sector P is not good. But see, this is a steel pipe making company. This is a company that is um, in the piping space, which uses galvanized iron, which is GI. So we're going to look at what it does. We're going to look at the financial trends. And I'm also going to quickly go through the investor presentation also. So I'll keep this open. Now I want to do financial trend first. So let's go look at financial trends as well. And why is the stock going up constantly in the last five years? So this I think is the annualized revenue, 169 and 18, 322, small dip COVID era, and then back to 440, right? So from a four, one, two, three, four year perspective, there is definitely a rise from a five year perspective, total revenue rise is there. So that is something that I like. Uh, if you look at EBITDA rise is also there. Yes, 37 crores in EBITDA. Uh, net income rise is also there. That means EPS rise should also be there. Yes, EPS rise is also there. So the last four years from a very quick revenue perspective, it's doing well. Okay, revenue perspective is doing well, but we will not catch revenue perspective as our whole and stole statement. We will look at balance sheet because I want to see their debt, right? Because usually what happens in such companies, if they're doing a lot of capex, then the debt is there. Okay, for the reserves right now is around 60 crores. Um, if you look at the debt is 10 crores. So that means they barely have any debt. They literally have very less debt, 10 crores and 34 crores in accounts payable. Accounts payable is something that they have to give people uh, and accounts receivable is something that to get from people. Okay, so... From a debt perspective, also, I think the debt to equity ratio is quite okay. So I'm not worried about the debt to equity ratio. Let's look at their cash flow. Their cash flow is not doing well. Free cash flow, I'm talking about. Free cash flow is not doing well, but they're doing a lot of most of their money is going back into inventory and not in CAPEX expenditures, right? So we'll understand what this company does again. Don't worry. I'm not going to skip that element. Now, coming to this, right? Now, what does this company do? By the way, this is a very small company. It's a 1,500 crore market cap. It is not a very big company. Uh, not also not very recognized. No one's told me about this company. I was just doing my own research like I always do and I found this. Haven't invested in this. If it is good, I am planning to invest. If it is not, I might not invest. Okay, so I'm just going through it one by one. Uh, financial highlights, I'm not going to look at because we quickly looked at it, but let's look at something else. Highest ever quarterly sales volume, ramping up other facilities. Company achieved a good realization as well. Now, you know that they're in what sector, right? We know that they cater to construction. We know that they cater to all these other players in the piping section and in the steel pipes and the normal pipes. But let's look at who their clients are. I want to see their clients also, okay? Now, in H1, FY22, they did a split. Recently, they did a 5, 10, uh, 10 rupees got split into uh, 2 rupees. So, a 5 to 1 split. They also approved a 2 rupees dividend as well. Okay. 2 rupees dividend as well. That has also happened. Uh, they also approved a scheme of amalgamation of Chetan Industries with JTL Infra. So, they're actually doing that. Uh, scaling up Mangao plant, which is going to be a 1 lakh MTPA plant that they're increasing as well. And also another 1 lakh MTPA and Mandi Godbandar, not Godbandar, Gobinder plant as well. If you look at their Kega performance on financial highlights, it looks good. If you look at their EBITDA financial highlights, we saw it looking good. Most of their money is coming from this orange thing, which is the galvanized iron pipes. Yes, most of their money is coming from galvanized iron pipes, which is what we saw as well, 40% of it is coming from that. And remaining is coming from so very small amount from solar tube, but remaining is coming from black pipe and hollow section. And if you see that in the last, if you see how the volumes are growing, you know, in FY18, if you see the volumes are actually going down for GI pipe, but the volumes are increasing for black pipe and hollow pipe. Look at this, the green is increasing and the orange is going down. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's exactly what's happening. 2,800, 6,400, 26,000 and not 27,000. That's good. And look at the revenues. Revenues are also going up. It's not an issue. Balance sheet, we already checked. I'm just going to go down. Okay, company overview. Uh, two Punjab plants, one plant in Maharashtra. This is what they do. Uh, very small company, right? As I said. And if you look at the, where's the clients? Yeah, who do they cater to? And look at the clients now. Guys, now look at the clients. They cater to all these different industries. Number one, the industries that they cater to. Okay, they also do portable water and sewage transportation because we're going to invest heavily in water. They're also in oil and gas engineering, automotive and power. So power is going to do really well. So I'm interested in that. That also. They're also in new age modern infrastructure like airports, malls, metros, bus, everything. And key players who are there in this are these players, right? So for these players, they're going to be marquee clients. Their clients are Tata Power and a lot more actually. I think there was some client information here. Let me just go down. Um... Yeah, see this. The company's key clients include Tata Power, uh, IGL, Ashok Leland, SR, HPCL, IOCL, Larson and Tubro, Sale, NDPC, BHEL, Suzlon Siemens, Electron, Tyson Krupp, and others, right? 
so they're also catering to a lot of clients in india which are quite big clients and i feel some of them are also going to win india in this space so if they do that um, then it'll be very interesting to look at this element also and it's also been performing consistently well in the last one year so if you look at the uh, consistent performance that happening in the last one year a lot of people tell me shashank you should tell me a stock that goes up before it goes up i mean i can't predict the market nor can anyone who claims to predict the market is an idiot nobody can predict the market uh, what we can do is we can look at some trends and i know that the construction trend is happening and i'm looking at the infrastructure trend and this is exactly what's happening the trend infrastructure real estate water sanitation and aff affordable housing and this stock ticks all four of my plans right this literally ticks all four of my plans so that's why i want to take a small allocation into this not a very very big allocation uh, i want to take a small allocation into this and see what happens happens because this seems like it's a slow mover but it's moving slowly and moving upward in an upward direction right so have a look at this whenever you're free i just wanted to quickly run you through this because i was doing small research in this and it looked exciting so i thought i'll just come and tell you again i haven't bought it it's not a buying or selling recommendation i just don't want you guys to like you know i talk about this tomorrow and you'll be like why didn't you tell us and all that no i'm not telling you anything i'm just looking at it um promoter holding is 56% okay fine tick tock yeah, it's not bad i'm just looking at the yearly graph right from the last one year it's already gone up 4x uh, also i feel it's a, it's it's almost going to break its all time high its all time high is 25780 okay and it's actually broken its all time high with 25790 so if it breaks this point then it's going to break its all time high whenever a stock breaks its all time high it's going to go up even more right apl apollo tubes is the leader in erv pipes yes venkatesh they are the leader in EI, erv pipes ERW pipes, but the thing is, this is a very small company, right? So even if it goes up to three thousand crore market cap, which is nothing compared to what APL Apollo does, and they're obviously not at the scale level. Even if it goes to three thousand crore market cap, that means I double my money. So this is like a small thing from a long term perspective. Uh, let's see, no issues on that. Okay, chalo. Next, let's come to our weekend research session. I want you guys to give me names of stocks in the chat box. I will put them on the community poll here. And the best, uh, I mean, the guys you guys vote for the most, we'll do weekend research here. Yeah, all time high is two eighty two. Okay, yeah. So we want to try beating that two eighty two mark. If it goes up to two eighty two, then we'll we'll be good. Lotus Slabs, FTW, yeah, yeah, full FTW. <laughs> I'm big on that, guys. I mean, I'm gonna just hold because. I'm only holding Loris only because of uh, the founder, right? I listen to his investor pre presentations. I, I look at his investor presentations. I listen to his con calls and looking at all of that, I'm very bullish. I'm bullish on the management uh, company. We'll figure out later. Mm -hmm. I'm only playing on the management. The reason the day I'm not bullish on the management, I will I will exit it. Cool. No emotions. You cannot have emotions in stock market. Kuch chal raha achha hai, kuch nahi chal raha, nikal jao. Yeah. Okay. Chalo, just put the name of the stocks that you guys want and I'll put it up here and we'll select one or two. Okay. SBI cards, I think I already did. Did I not? Okay. I'll show you. I think I really did it. Let me just show you how SBI cards work. More tech packaging. What? What do you mean? NGL. Oh, shit. One sec, guys. My bad. My bad, my bad. NGL fine cam, you already have. Um, I think um, Ashwat. No, I think Akshat had done it. Yeah, Akshat, Akshat had already done it. So go look at Akshat's video on NGL fine cam. He did it quite a while ago, uh, but it was good. Hello, what else? One more. Mm -hmm. HG infra, okay. Let's look at HG infra. A lot of people asking for HG infra. HFCL, yeah. HFCL is actually a lot of nonsense is there in HFCL. I'll show you what the nonsense is also. Chalo. Okay, I got my four four stocks. Let me know. Choose guys. Choose the four stocks. the video that was giving the error then eventually hmm. very interesting okay chava is an aggressive founder yeah man he is 
Okay, so I've put four stocks. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing four stocks quite equal. All the people who are watching can also vote. Don't worry, it's an anonymous voting. I don't know who's voting. Um, 103 people have already, already vote, voted. How's your new MacBook Air? It's good. Not bad. Actually, I'm going to check the lag now. One second. I'm just going to start my video and see if the lag is still there. If the lag is still going to happen, then I'm just going to switch off video. Then I'm going to realize that it's the stupid video issue. Okay. 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 No, I, I think I'm just not going to come on. No, I'm, not, I'm not going to do live streaming on this laptop, man. I'm just going to be on my, be at my home. And if I'm not at home, I'll figure out some other day. Either way, not an issue. Okay, guys, put your votes in maximum amount of vote actually it's a tie right now there is sbi cards tied at tied with hg infra at the same time both at 27 28 percent yeah there is a there is a lag okay interesting guys come on come on come on i want a clear winner i don't want this kind of alto falto weird winners i want a clear winner dude guys SBI cards and HG infra both at 28% cannot happen. You guys need to show me one clear winner. Come on. You stream Riyadh instead of OBS. Yeah. I think when I do uh, videos for grow, I use stream stream yard uh, and I do OBS for me. See OBS is good because I do OBS at home, right? When I'm sitting at home, it's a very powerful PC. So I have no issues. Only when I'm on my, on the road, when I'm traveling, uh, I do it again. I can't help it. I'm, I'm trying to make it better. But for me, the more important thing is just to come and do research. As long as my voice is heard and you guys can learn, that's enough for me, man. I have already done research on SBI cards, so I don't know why everyone wants me to do SBI cards again. Out of 215 people, approximately 32 people have voted for SBI cards. Yeah, I've already done SBI card guys, but, uh, I mean, for all the people who are saying I've already done it, I can't help it. No, because it's community research. I mean, if the people want it, I have to do it again. Um, I know you guys have already seen it, but I think there are a lot of people who have come here for the first time and if they have voted for it, I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. If this, if everyone's voting for SBI cards, then that's the rule of weekend research, right? <laughs> I have to do HFCL to it's not even there in the playing field. Okay. Let me give you a brief note on HFCL. Um, HFCL, um, can do well, can do well, not, in, not, not saying it can't do well. And also HFCL, if you look at it, um, there's a lot of small stuff, I think with the founders. So I think you should, what I would only say for HFCL is find out who the founder is and see who is linked to it. That's all I will tell you. Okay. Because I read something somewhere recently about HFCL. It was quite interesting. The revelation that I saw. Um, okay. I think guys, SBI card is the clear winner. 250 people have voted approximately for FD, SBI cards. I like how 250 people have voted for SBI cards and only 124 people have voted like have liked the video. Thank you guys means a lot. <laughs> I know Gagan, but I can't help it. Gagan. I mean, we have to, um, do what the people are asking. No, that's why I keep it as a community research, whatever people want. I have to do that. Betting on management or betting on business, which one works actually betting on business works more than betting on management. Uh, the reason why I'm betting on management and business on lawless labs is I'm just waiting for that capex to happen. They have a massive capex, very, very, very big capex that they're going through. So once that capex happens, I want to see how that everything unfolds after that. Okay, guys, I'm ending the poll. Uh, the clear winner is SBI cards and we're going to do SBI cards. Okay. Because I mean, 250 people have voted and most of them have asked for SBI cards. So can't help it. By the way, now this, uh, Navi came out with the new, um, by the way, I don't know how many of you saw this. Navi came out with a new, um, mutual fund with a tie up with Vanguard. I don't know. Did you guys read about it? I saw it yesterday on my live mint, uh, thing, I think total market van. So Vanguard is obviously a very, very, very big fund, um, in us, right. 
it's a very 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 big fun uh, so they are apparently launching something new i want to do a video on this later not now i'm not going to talk about this now uh, it's just very interesting that their navi us is investing in the vanguard total market etf vanguard is basically a very 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 massive fund in us um, something to interesting to look at i'll do a separate video on that okay <sighs> okay coming back to sbi cards guys don't blame me i can't do anything guys i know you guys are not happy with sbi cards but uh, my i just put out the poll here because everyone said sbi cards and then there were four options and out of four options sbi card was voted approximately 33% um, so don't blame me i can't do much because if i don't do what i promised to do which is i keep it very open to you guys to make the decision for the by the people it's like a democratic thing right it's not influenced by me you guys tell me the options i choose four options and it's you so i know it's uh, you guys don't want it but i have to do it okay okay let's look at what's happening with sbi cards quickly before wasting time if you look at the max chart they came out of their ipo last year if you look at their max chart it is only approximately 25% but first we need to understand how credit card business works now how many of you all actually know how credit card business works i want a show of numbers in the chat does everyone know how a credit card business works i mean you understand how the basic credit card business works basically they give you a credit and whenever there is a credit it is great but if you don't pay the credit bill you pay some fine right that's simple simple uh, logic for everyone that's how credit card business works so they basically give you money on credit and if you don't pay that money they charge a small amount of percentage for it now the question here is boss how much percentage do they charge number 1 and number 2 how do they make money from this and is this the only way they make money right is this the only way they make money so we are going to look at all of this if you guys understand credit card that's not the only way they make money and i'm going to show you that very quickly someone's asking where my face is okay some must be a new guy coming in sorry man some lag is happening so i had to switch off video okay so let's first look at financials and i'll go through the financials in detail because the financials of a credit card company is very different from a financials of what we you see in other companies but first let's look at the overall financials of uh, sbi cards okay a lot of people don't know about this have limited knowledge let me break down all the myths all the myths of credit card companies right now so if you have a credit card after this video you might get a little bit scared i'm going to tell you right now okay and you don't know half the people don't know how interest rates work how much the interest rates are being charged and apart from that what additional charges you are getting very few people knows that know that and i'm going to show you this also right cool so the revenue look at this now understand this first of all guys if a credit card company's revenue is growing okay we look at this beautiful logic okay i'm just going to give you one very outside perspective or a different perspective if a credit card company's total revenue is growing right is that good or bad okay it is very good credit card company's revenue is growing which is very good where is this revenue coming from guys where is this revenue com coming from can can anyone tell me where this revenue is coming from from whom is this revenue coming from yeah i'm going to give a very different take on credit cards i'm not saying it's bad or good obviously there are use cases uh, if you use it properly like i use a, a credit card and i use it properly i pay my bills on time for me it's beautiful right but always understand when a credit card company makes a lot of money like this it is coming from us it is coming from people like me and you okay now what do we want what does what do people like me and you want people like me and you want money to work for us want interest to work for us whenever you take a loan or whenever you are on emi okay please understand this you are working for the money for example i have to go day in day out make money so that i can pay that 6% 10% 12% so even if it's a loan i'm not talking about a credit card even if it's a loan you still have to pay the money so you are working for money but a smart person will make money work from for him right you remember people keep saying make money work for you when interest works in both ways when you have to give interest it is very sad when you have to receive interest it is great so when i invest in companies and i get 10 15% returns i'm very happy right very good i'm i'm like ec ecstatic i'm super happy but if i have a loan at say 6 7% interest if i make 15% there i have to pay 7 8% loan i don't have anything and in fact nobody gives in loan at 6 7% in loan hota hai it'll start only at 10 12 15% right so it's not good so credit card companies revenue is growing means more people like me and you are not managing our credit cards well and we're paying a lot of interest as well okay so please understand this all your no cost emis and your by the way no cost emis bhi kaisa chalta hai do you guys know first of all do all of you know how no cost emis work just to give you guys an example 
and i'll tell you what how it works right no cost emi lot of things happen in the background first of all whenever a no cost emi happens it's basically the company trying to push their products out so that their sales go up now if i am a new product say i am launching some new phone called uh, shashank max phone okay shashank pro max whatever i'm launching a new phone called shashank pro max the cost for me i want to sell is at 50000 rupees okay i want to sell shashank pro max at 50000 rupees uh, but i want to give you this option of no cost emi okay now no cost emi my what happens i'll be like oh shit the bank comes and tells hdfc comes and tells me hdfc listen a bank comes and tells me listen shashank you want to launch this new phone right but you are saying you want to give it no cost emi so i can't take the emi from the end user right i can't take it from nikhil gowda or i can't take it from uvan shankar so what i'll do shashank i will take from your company okay you give this no cost emi option but whatever the discount is whether it's 15% 10% whatever you will pay me the money for me i'll be like oh shit that means the longer term a user takes a no cost emi so if uvan shankar comes on that shashank pro max and says i want a five year low five year installment period that means i'm paying interest for five years that interest is going from the end customer that's interest is going from the customer it's going from my company so what will shashank do he's also not stupid because i need my margins at the end of the day everyone wins right uh, so what shashank does is acha sir yeah so my 50000 phone what i'll do is my max loss on someone doing this will be 15% let me price my 50000 phone adding another 15% in the market so i will say my new phone now cost 57500 everyone will be like wow shashank mac pro max is now priced at 57999 with no cost emi and uvan shankar will come and he'll be like wow awesome this is an amazing thing 57000 i'm going to buy it because who knows what the true value of the phone is you don't know only i know right you will buy it you will take no cost emi and in the end and i'll still get my 50000 bank gets his emi from me you think you have won because you got no cost emi but at the end of the day everyone won and you paid a slightly higher premium on it this is how no cost emi is work the emi goes from the customer customer is not stupid customer over prices it uh, the company over prices the product slightly little more because company is not in the business of making loss and you think that is the fair price but you are actually paying for that no cost emi as well so please understand this is how no cost emi works here also banks make money obviously banks make a lot of money and then there is something called processing charges processing fees that they take from you one time processing fees only one time not too many times but that is gone from you so the bank makes money on both sides so understand how the credit economy or the credit game works whenever you have to give money please be careful nothing comes free nothing is cheap right nothing is free nothing is cheap that's what i want to tell you guys people are not nobody is in the business of making loss uh, no cost emi is borne by the client not by the end user but the client is not an idiot to make a phone and then launch it at 15% discount so he will overprice it and then say discount right very similar to how everyone does it if i tell you that shashank pro max is 57000 you'll be like oh thoda expensive hai na shashank ka naya phone but if i'll tell you guys shashank pro max is 99000 minus 45% off it is at 15000 57000 you'll be like dude 47% off is giving on that phone buy it by the way one shankar is the guy who won the giveaway competition as well that's why i remember his name okay cool in that way those people who don't go for no cost emi end up paying more premium you are right you are right that is absolutely what happens right okay coming back coming back now if credit card companies make a lot of money that means the money is coming from you number 1 number 2 credit card companies have only one major expense which is the employee cost employee cost and other expense other expense i'll open and show you but employee cost is a very big expense who are these employee costs the people who call you and keep talking to you and say hello what is this when when is it, when are you paying your credit card bill sir do you want another credit card sir so why do people push credit card so much why do people automatically increase your credit limit right they want you to spend more like for me they've increased my credit limit so many times right they've increased my credit limit so many times and i don't like it sometimes i'm like dude don't increase my uh, credit limit good uh, so much i don't want you to increase my credit limit but they they want us to spend more they want you to spend more that's why they increase your credit limit so that you are automatically saying are my credit card has 1 lakh balance dude because even they know agar aapke upar if they put a limit and saying your credit card can only be used for 20000 and you can't do more you will not do more so it's a psychological game so be very careful about this see i'm not saying credit cards are bad if you manage your credit card well it's great i manage my credit card well i get points i travel for free and i've told you this so many times right i'll show you how i do that if you want in this video also how i travel for free and i'll show you how i keep doing that okay 
Now, let's look at their uh, investor presentation. And also let me open SBI Cards website because I'm going to show you. I'll show you the credit card that I have. Okay, I'll show you the credit card that I have also. And what are the chances of that? Now, I want to show you the uh, finance statements of a credit card company because it's very different. Okay, it's very different. I'll show you how that works. I'm just going to try going into... Okay, look at this. Firstly, a few things to look at in a credit card company. How many people are using the credit cards for corporate spending? And how many people are uh, doing credit cards for personal spending? Two different things. Cool. So personal spending or retail spending is this corporate spending is this because a lot of people use corporate cards. A lot of people use retail cards and new accounts in thousands are these are new accounts every uh, every month and every quarter. What is happening? So if you look at quarter two FY22, a lot of new accounts have been opened in SBI. So that is good. Not bad at all. They're the number two credit player in India and look at the spends, right? So many cards are enforced. So the spending is increasing. So obviously if people like me and you spend more, this is going to create an issue. Transactions are increasing also, right? So again, more transactions and more spending means your average spending amount has gone up. So obviously look at the amount of spends, 30, 43,000 crores are being spent right now only on this and their average spent per card, average spend per card is 1,42,000. Okay. So understand for the average to be 1,42,000, just imagine kitana spending over here. Awesome, right? Uh, and now this is very important. Okay. Look at the portfolio insights. How many people are from which department? If you look at salaried category, they're saying government and PSUs are 36%. Cat A is 36% and Cat B is this one. And I'll show you what Cat A, Cat B is also, but just keep this in mind, right? Look at the age profile. Under 30, 41%, 31 to 45. So major majority of the people are under 45, 80% of SBI's portfolio right now is 45. Uh, what does it mean by corporate card? Corporate card. Okay. So what is retail spends and corporate spends? Retail spends is people like me. Okay. A guy like me just going to a coffee shop and spending the credit card for my personal use. Corporate cards are cards that are taken from them, uh, spent for corporate reasons for company. So for example, the company that I run, which is Avalon. Uh, so if there is a software that Avalon needs to buy, and I want to do it on a credit card instead of doing it from a debit card, sometimes you have to put credit card, no, because they have recurring payments. Sometimes debit cards don't do recurring payments. So for all the AWS softwares or all the other softwares, I use a credit card. So that is a corporate credit card, right? Facebook ad money. You can't your personal credit card for Facebook admin and for corporate credit cards, you have to show the government corporate expenses. So credit cards are very important for that. And they do tie ups. They give some discounts. They give better cash backs. Uh, they'll be like, spend more money. Sometimes if you're not a very good car a company, they'll be like, do one thing. You give me one, one lakh uh, fixed deposit and I'll give you a little more, uh, spending abilities also. Where is the money being spent? Let's look at this. this is beautiful insight, by the way, also very beautiful insight into where money is being spent. If you could map out all the credit card information of everyone in India, you will literally know how the rich and the normal guys who have a credit card are spending. Okay. And they do this spend categories is departmental store, health, utilities, education, direct marketing, 19%. Category two. Okay. Category two. Consumer durables, furnishing and hardware is up by 34% and is up by 54, 57%. So a lot of people are buying category two right now. Um, category three, which is apparel, your shirts and jewelry is also 50, 50%, right? So I look at the online spend trajectory. 53% is online spend. Remaining is POS spends. POS is point of sale, POS machines. Cool. Now, uh, do corporate cards have more benefit than retail? Depends. Yeah. See, it's not about more benefit. It's about what type of card you get. And I, I keep saying this whenever you're buying a credit card, buy a credit card that matches your lifestyle, not something that gives you better points. I'll, I'll tell you why. And I'm, I'll, I'll show you everything right now. Look at the total revenue, total revenue. Let's look at, uh, okay. Let's look at half year of FY22 and FY21. So massive revenue jump, 9% revenue jump from the last one year. Finance cost is there, operating cost is there, earnings before credit loss, okay, blah, blah, blah. Coming down, cost to income. Gross NPA. NPA is what? Non-performing asset. Means people who have taken the loan and said, boss, sorry, I can't do anything anymore. Now, here is where the money comes. Guys, look at this. Actually, I want to open SBI card's actual financial statement and show you. This is not a good way to show you. Um, I'll, let me go to BSC India. I'll show you why. And because it's given very clearly in that, this differences it's given good differences right cool. 
Let me just show you. Oh, come on. They need to make this slightly simpler, man. So it's very annoying to go like this. Keep searching company update company result. Okay. I'll show you why I'm, I want to go and set the actual result. Okay. Because they show you things like this. See this. Let me go. Uh, let me go down. Now the first column, it looks a little bl blurred is the interest income interest income. Very similar as the name suggests. Okay. As the name suggests, it is uh, the interest money that is coming in number one. Yeah, I think I'm seeing the wrong uh, thing, but anyway, I'm just showing you how credit card information works, right? I'm just showing you how credit card information works. So interest income, this is the latest result as of December 31st, 2021 interest income, as the name suggests is interest money coming from interest and look at the beauty of this guys in December 31st, 2021 interest income. What is this in crores and in, in lakhs? You have to always see okay this is in rupee crores interest income was 1273 crores but income from fees and services is 1400 crores how is that shashank what is fees and services how are they making more money than the credit card system itself okay this is why i said you need to understand how credit cards work okay and wait where are they getting this money from income from fees and services where is it coming from guys can someone tell me in the chat where is this money coming from <laughs> It is coming from you only. So they're making more money off you than from the, from fees and services, as opposed to the interest rate. Now you'll be like, Shashank, I'm mind blown. What the hell is this income from services and fees? Okay. Look at this. It's consistently across everywhere. They're making more money on income of fees and services than interest income. Now I'll tell you what this fees and services are. Okay. Coming to SBI cards online. Now, let me show you the card I have. So now here you choose whatever card you like. Okay. So for example, depending on your lifestyle, if you're a guy who spends a lot, go to shopping cards. I am a guy who likes to travel a lot. So I will choose travel and fuel. Okay. I'll show you what card I'm using and I'll show you the fees also. Okay. I'll show you the fees. Wow. SBI. Awesome. <laughs> Get this SBI page. Okay. Let me just show you the card I have. Wow. Yes, people are smart. AMC subscription charges. I don't know how many of you all even know this. What is happening to SBI card? Is it just me or is nothing working? No, only SBI card is not working. Okay, so I have SBI card platinum. Okay, actually, not platinum. I'll tell you what I did recently also. Let me show you something. Yeah, thank you for opening. So I basically like traveling. Okay. Now traveling, whenever you want to travel that a co-branded card. So I'll show you my card. I'll give you an example with my own card and how I use it. Right. Uh, I like to travel with my own thing. Okay. So I, I have chosen basically Air India. There's a difference. You can even choose if you go to travel and fuel category, basically you can choose are the other cards that are there. So there's IRCTC. If you're a train member, you can do IRCTC card. There. There's BPCL. So they have different things. There's Club Vistara. If you're flying with Vistara, then you can take this instead of that. But I like Air India. Why? Because it also gives me access to international flights. Okay. Now Air India has two cards, a signature card, SBI signature card, and it has a platinum card. Obviously the signature card is the best one. The platinum card is the lower one. So I got the platinum card to start off with. Okay. Because I was not approved for the premium one yet. So first I got the uh, yeah, lunchtime, it seems people now look at the costs here. Now, beautiful stuff. Let me show you everything. Annual one time fee 1499 rupees. You'll be like, I can't take it now. Small amount renewal fee 1449 per annum. So, if I use the credit for the three years, apart from whatever I'm getting with, uh, apart from whatever I'm getting with my interest amounts, I'm also paying 1499 every year as a subscription cost. Now this is your subscription cost. Now you'll be 1499 is very cheap. Yes, it is cheap, right? But looking at the number of people that they have every year who are paying 5,000 to 1,500 rupees. If you multiply that with crores and crores of users, then it's a lot of. members. I'm very happy. Gives me a complimentary membership. Okay. Very good. I get two points for every hundred rupees spent. Okay. 
I get two points for every hundred rupees spent, and I get fifteen thousand bonus reward points. Okay, very good. Not bad. Travel elegant, elegant, elegantly. Okay, very good. So if I actually go to India dot com and I book it, now I'm just going to show you the one sec. Can you hear me now? One sec. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going to show you the psychology of this. Not psychology, but I'll show you how it works, right? If you are looking for, if if you are looking for a new card, okay. Let me just repeat this entire thing very quickly. Annual fees is basically one thousand four hundred ninety nine. I get with good reward points. Okay, I'll be like, I'm very happy because I'm looking to buy a new credit card, guys. So if I'm looking to buy a new credit card, this is what I'm going to look at, right? Now it's two thousand four hundred ninety nine. I have to pay every year. First, I have to pay one time cost, and then I have to pay every year thousand four hundred ninety nine. Multiply that with the crores and crores of users that are currently there with SBI cards. You'll make much more. They make a lot of money from that perspective. Number one. Uh, one second. Yeah, number two. Okay, if I keep going down, they keep showing me all the good stuff. Fifteen thousand bonus points, travel elegantly. Okay, I'm very happy. Fuel surcharge, all this is there, and then they show you what do you get, right? They show you the features that you currently have. The features that you have is you get Visa lounge access. By the way, this is something that I told all of you all once in the past also, right? That whenever you have a credit card, please check for this Visa lounge access because in every airport you can use this and you can actually go and sit in the Visa lounge. You have to. They'll, they'll you just give them your card and you can go access the visa lounge you can go access the lounge anytime even i don't know how many of you are in bombay so in bombay if you go to bombay's uh, gvk lounge which is now called adani lounge and if you have this you can just go give your credit card you will get eight complimentary visits in india right so instead of going out and having a coffee outside you can actually go and have a coffee inside here now i'll come to the points also i'll come to points department because i want to tell you how i use the points as well Now it shows you all the good things, cash on go, global acceptance. But I'm like Shashank, what is the charge? Paisa kitna lagega bolo. Where is the money, right? I'm okay. I'm like I'll go to fees and charge. Look at the beauty of this, guys. I want you guys to observe this very carefully. Fees and charge thousand four ninety nine. Renewal fees thousand four ninety nine. Add on fees not there. That's it. Can you tell me where is that point of interest? Do you know that they make a lot of money from interest? Obviously from people like me and you. now this is something that all credit cards company do they do not show you the fees they do not show you how much they charge at interest rate okay this is something i'm telling you guys so that you are smart investors uh, they never show this in the first page fees and charges it shows up to 1 1499 but it doesn't show you your uh, interest rate to know the interest rate you have to go to more important terms and conditions okay which is basically hidden in fine print here also if you come it shows you annual fees okay advance fees cash payment fee okay they have literally hidden it grace period free interest rate free charges finance charges here it comes look at this here it actually tells you exactly how much you are paying okay this do you understand now how credit card companies actually do this they do not show you directly it is all hidden under terms and conditions So for all the people who are trying to buy a credit card, please look at this because for me now this card is going to charge me three and a half percent a month of forty two percent per annum. Forty two percent per annum stocks भी नहीं देता यार इतना that I have to sit and pay for this. Crazy, right? Understood. And this is very common. This is not just with SBI. Even if you go to say HDFC Regalia credit card, and right? I'm just going to show you. I'm going to click on apply. Okay. Fees and charges. Look at this. Two thousand five hundred rupees fees. Bus. It's not given anywhere. For to understand more, I have to click here. This is not fair. I know it's not right because that is why half the people in India don't know how much their own credit card's annual rate is. This is the problem in India. Half the people don't know because it's hidden. It's not open. Okay. Now let me come back to the way I use it. Okay. Now I was using this. Okay. Now I'll tell you how this works. Right. Five thousand reward points. So in Air India, the way I see it right now, I travel a lot, so I come to Mumbai. Now in Air India, uh, a free economy ticket is eight thousand points, and a free business class ticket is sixteen thousand points. Okay. And now, if I book an economy ticket, like I pay three thousand, four thousand, five thousand rupees, and book an economy ticket, and I want to upgrade from economy to business, then I have to pay only seven thousand points. Right? Only seven thousand points. Someone said, "Show HDFC charges." Okay, sure, I'll show you. Fees and charges. Go to click here to view details. 
साइट मेंटेनेंस अच्छा ओनली दिस इज गोइंग थ्रू मेंटेनेंस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग या सॉरी गाइस साइट मेंटेनेंस आई मीन दिस वर्क्स <laughs> but that is going on site maintenance this is what i don't like right when when you're talking about fees and you should talk about everything you should not just hide the fees here and you should not show everything else uh site maintenance going on convenient right leave that uh so yeah so when i use air india i get 5000 points free which i can't do anything much with the 5000 points number one uh only 8000 points i can get my economy ticket 16000 points i can get a business class ticket or if i buy the economy ticket and i just want to upgrade to business class i have to pay 7000 so i use this card for almost a year okay I racked up good amount of points but here i only get two points for every 100 rupees spent after one year okay after one year i applied for the signature credit card and i got approved into the signature credit card program okay i'll show you what the signature card does and i'll show you why because of this I actually travel i literally travel for free or i keep getting upgraded to business constantly right now here it's 20000 reward points this is actually one full business class ticket or three business class upgrades okay 20000 reward points here as a welcome gift this is a joining fee okay and but how much is the joining fee you must ask right how much is the joining fee right <laughs> i'll tell you how much the joining fee is also right uh as a part of your joining fee get four reward points so that means every time i spend 100 rupees i get four points and i get 1 lakh bonus reward points for every one year that i complete and there are some spends also but here i have to pay 5000 rupees plus taxes 5000 rupees plus taxes is equal to one ticket from bangalore to mumbai uh, but they give me enough points so that i can go at one business class so one business class ticket is around 20000 rupees so basically i get uh, complimentary access to all the lounge programs here so i get lounge access uh, i get multiple points if i do it on the air india website so i recently upgraded to this so i have to pay 5000 rupees then i get this points and then this points i can use for whatever i want again fees and charges pe sab kuch hidden hai so please go look at your fees and charges it will be written here i think it's the same amount not sure 42% is the fees that i have to pay if i delay on my thing and i have to pay interest so this is how they work so now you understood the difference between interest and the fixed charges so from me they're going to make 5000 rupees every year plus taxes only from me right the way i use it is okay i have 5000 rupees but i get free the i have made more money i'm like i've saved more money because i keep going on on flights right i keep traveling through flights i sadly i can't, i'll do a separate video and show you because i can't log into my air india right now and show you because it has all my personal information if not i could have actually shown you right um apart from that coming back to the cards SBI cards, how it works. Now you understood how interest income works. You understood how income from fees and services work. This is how they make most of their money. Fees and services and interest income is where they make most of the money. Where do they lose money? Employee benefit expense. They have to pay for their employees. And apart from that, they are operating and other expense which is heavy. So we should look at what operating and other expenses are because that is also quite heavy, right? Coming back down. So just going down, just going down, seeing if there's any breakup. Look at the debt to equity ratio. okay which is completely all right actually uh, good operating margin some borrowings that they have taken borrowing is basically some loans that they have taken so basically if you go into sbi cards is annual report they will do the breakdown this is a quarterly report that i checked but they do a breakdown of it so basically to sum it up for you guys okay to sum it up for you guys this was a old presentation i was looking at but to sum it up for you guys whenever india's economy is being boosted whenever india's economy is going up okay whenever there is spending being boosted in india whenever you see a lot of discounts going on in india big billion day sale always understand who's winning and who's losing companies are winning right credit card companies are also winning because they're taking money from the companies and you are also somehow winning you will lose first of all you will lose because you're already paying slightly higher cost number one for emi but you will also lose if you do not pay your bill on time and you have to pay interest rate the minute you have to start paying interest rate you will start losing a lot right first of all uh someone saying show opm i mean opm i can show you here as well right look at this 9700 crores and 1446 go through it it's here actually let me go back up Op net profit margin is around 12% over here okay 12% is the net profit margin operating margin not applicable but you can obviously see your own operating margin by ca calculating it either which way it's not about operating margin it's about the eps and look at the eps growth 2.23 3.67 4.10 4 it's the number 2 card credit card company in india and if india is in this growth stage or india is this in the, in the stage of a growing economy then obviously credit card companies will win it's a chain of winners 
can't say right nobody is a chain nobody just see for winners to be there there has to be some loser right money is being transferred so there is some someone somewhere making money so if you take no cost emi basically you are paying that anyway you are paying that premium to the company because his actual product is maybe like shashank pro max might be 25000 rupees and you are paying 55000 rupees for it so you feel you have won with no cost emi but i know that i have won and the bank knows he won because he took it from me so uh, so basically to make a take advantage of credit cards to take absolute advantage of credit cards first thing you need to understand is any way you're going to lose that 1499 or 599 whatever it is one time cost per year you will lose which is fine your points will cover that up for you but the only way you lose with a credit card is if you overspend and don't pay your bill on time the first time you overspend and you don't pay your bill that starts compounding and it starts compounding at 42% and please do not get into that trap that is why they call it the debt trap or emi trap and then there's charges on top of it there's gst on top of it even when you convert a particular purchase into emi there is processing charges that is where they make money so every time you have a purchase and you want to convert that purchase from a purchase to emi there is conversion charges there also so please be aware that a lot of these small small things use credit cards wisely for the points and you will make a lot of sense right you will be really really happy i use it for a lot of points right i only use it for points so for me it's great so it's great for me uh but yeah this is how the sbi card industry basically works so this is how the sbi industry works right turn on auto pay do whatever you want keep a track of when this is happening so sbi card is obviously a great industry the finance industry but it's only good when the economy is growing if the economy is not growing it becomes a big big problem let me just try to let me see if i can actually log into my sbi and show you how it works just give me a second i'm just trying to log into my account not the sbi not the sbi account but my air india account okay because here sometimes it it shows my mobile number and all so i'm just going to go directly to the transactions okay okay beautiful i can actually show you this guys chalo that's why i said always choose a credit card that is uh, what do you call that always choose a credit card that is useful for you don't choose a credit card that is not useful so understand what your type of behavior is understand uh, whether you are a person who likes to watch movies or likes to do shopping or likes to travel right i'm just sharing my screen just give me a second so you need to figure out what you are good at and what you want to do and depending on that you should work on it so i'm just waiting for the screen share to come online okay it's fucking very slow and i'll show you how this works yeah can you see my screen so these this is all the points that i've got right so going back from june so june was the first time i got uh, some points so i transferred some points in june right i've been i told you i've been using this from the last one year right so i've been using it from the last one year so i was accumulating points and then in june i put 25000 points into my air india account so this is my air india account right from last march to this feb 25000 points may say what i did was i bought a single flight business class ticket on 16th october when maybe i traveled to bombay so i had i bought two flights so i went on 16th came back on 18th i think this is my bangalore to bombay trips so 32000 i've spent here already okay on business class i had to pay nothing on this all i had to do was just pay the tax amount of 300 400 500 rupees and i get a 25000 rupee thing for free again i'm doing my own spending i'm doing my normal spending i'm not paying interest charges to the air india credit card i'm not paying interest charges nothing i'm not losing any money but i get two credit but my spending is high this won't work for everyone right this won't work for you because my spending is also high and what i do is when diwali came i instead of going and buying gold with cash or buying gold with my debit card i go buy gold with my credit card and instantly pay that pay that amount back from my debit card so i do all those things right whenever i have a big purchase i buy it from my credit card and instantly pay it back from my debit card on that very day just to get the points up then again 16th november i put another 20000 points into my card uh and then this was a single member upgrade now see her business class upgrade from 16000 became 7000 right so what i realized is if i book a ticket if i book an economy ticket which is 4 5000 and then i want to upgrade it's very cheap it's only 6800 to 7000 points here it is 32000 for two tickets fully free here it is uh 13000 for only a 5000 rupee ticket 
right? Now, again, in Jan, I've added 20,000 points, which is literally 27 Jan, five, six days ago, I added another 20,000 points. So actually I have a lot of points still pending. I have around 35,000 points and now I've come to Bombay. So now, when I'm going back now from Bombay to Bangalore, because I like that lounge a lot, I've upgraded myself again. So this is how I make use of credit cards and I don't let them win. I try to make myself win, but basically I've got gone into the business class uh, at least four or five times. My average spending is a lot. I think I've spent around 14, 15 lakhs uh, just in the last few months, right? Uh, my average spending is a lot, but also understand, right? I do all my spendings on the credit card and then immediately pay it back from my debit card. So whether it is um, buying Diwali jewelry or whether it is buying anything, I just put on my credit card and then I re repurpose it with my debit card. So basically net to net, nothing happens. Right, net to net, nothing happens because I pay from my credit card and instantly refill my credit card. So credit card company is like, dude, this guy is not giving me any interest. Nothing is doing right. No charges also. Nothing's there. Uh, but I get those points and then I use that points for whatever I want to do. Right, basically, which is only for travel. So now, that is exactly what it is. So this is me. Okay, this is because I spend a lot. But for you guys, if you had to do this, just assume, right? You get two points for every hundred rupees spent. Okay. You get two points for every hundred rupees spent. And then they give you bonus points also once in a while, if you spend more. So calculate it from that perspective, you get two points for every hundred rupees spent. Uh, then it's approximately 50 rupees for one. I mean, every time you spend 50 rupees, uh, no, how does this math? It's a weird math. Uh, either way you get two points for every hundred rupees spent. So if you keep doing your normal kharcha in a day to day manner and you spend a lot, in fact, this works really well. If you use this company, if you use this card for your company. So if you have your own family business, first of all, let me tell you a nice hack. If you have a family business, you know, where this is like a traditional family business, where it's not of dhanda buying mal on credit or selling mal on credit. If you use the credit card for doing business expense, especially these type of expenses, the amount of points you'll rack up is insane because it is cash flow dhanda, right? Pay from the credit card. Instead of paying from your debit card, you pay from the credit card and then refill the credit card instantly. Imagine how many tickets you'll wrap, uh, rack up at that point. So it's yeah, so it's two points for hundred. So on one lakh, you'll get maybe around 2000 points or something like that. Uh, for 8,000 points for one ticket, you might need to spend four lakhs in total. So if you spend four lakhs in total, you get one ticket, right? Now you don't have to do it in one, two months. You can do it over a period of one year also. In one year, if you spend four lakh, they'll give you uh, 2000, 8,000 8, points. And that 8,000 points buys you one ticket, right? Yes, annual fees is also waived off sometimes when you spend a lot. And when you spend a lot, they also have bonus that they give you. So if you spend more than 5 lakhs, they'll actually come and give you 10,000 points free. If you spend 10 lakhs, they'll give you 15,000 points free. So basically, you should game the you should game the system itself. Right? What do I mean by gaming the system? This is best used either for people who spend a lot. And if you don't spend a lot, and if your parents are buying something or tomorrow they go to buy gold, just tell them, wait, I'll just get a credit card. Let make all your expenses on this credit card. Our next vacation is free, right? Because you can just pay the bill instantly. Small, small things, even Amazon. Amazon though, I do double. So you remember what I do on Amazon, right? How many of you all know what I do on Amazon with Intermiles? So I use the Intermiles affiliate program buy anything I want to buy on Amazon and I use the XP, I use my SBI card on it, right? The Air India card on it. So whenever I buy something on Amazon, I get double points. I get points in Intermiles and then I get points in my uh, SBI thing as well. And I have an Intermiles debit card. So every time I swipe my debit card, I get points, which I use on Intermiles to book tickets and book uh, hotels. And every time I use my credit card, I get free Air India coins. So literally my traveling and my stay is almost 60% in a year free. Only remaining 30, 40% I actually pay for. And because I'm smart, I know how to game the system, right? And a lot of people don't know this. They still travel, they spend as much as me, but they still pay for travel. And I found a loophole into it. And I don't talk about, I mean, I don't do anything from that perspective, right? So understand how to game the system. Intermiles, Intermiles was basically jet privilege. Uh, now is called Intermiles after jet went down, down and under. Uh, so I have a, Debit card, which is an intermiles debit card, because you go and get an SBI co-branded debit card. Actually, I can show you how my intermiles profile look also. Let me just check. I hope they don't give my information. Every time I do screen share, I have to check because my information might come out. Right. And you guys will start messaging me and you'll be like, Hey, Shashank, I saw this here. I saw this there. Um, and then it becomes a big issue for me also at that point. Okay. See this. Let me try showing this. I'll just show you everything so that you can use this, right? So 
so intermiles is basically this website right which is basically jet privilege uh, so you have an online thing basically if i want to buy something i just go through this website so total intermiles say 10400 this gets expired every year sadly that's another problem so from my credit card activity i've got 14000 points in the last 12 months my flights are this much my hotel my others and my shop is 6900 shop is basically my amazon right and what i redeemed recently i paid 43000 to redeem a flight which is basically a business class ticket as well from this all this i'm not paying anything it's completely free what i do is i just go to shop every time i want to buy something on say flipkart or fab india or tata click whatever boat wherever i want to buy anything i'll just go here amazon earn 5 miles for every 100 rupees spent and i click on this add my intermiles number here and then just click on go to amazon i'll buy my amazon normally right every time i buy my stuff on amazon i buy it normally and apart from that if i want to pay uh, if i want to if i want to go buy go stay in a hotel room right i try booking it from here so that i get more points and more miles for free so i keep using all these small small things small small hacks i would say uh, that ensures that i don't have to pay too much when i have to travel because i feel it's very stupid uh, in today's world to actually pay so small small things do your own research please don't depend on me because i spend a lot uh, so don't don't assume that you can do the same thing and get as many points as me uh, it's very different both on both sides uh, but do your own research because whatever it is in a yearly frame at least one holiday you can take for free the way i see it right even if you're normal spending even if you spend 2 3 lakhs in a year which you might anyway spend uh, or maybe your parents spend it's fine because you'll still make enough money uh, enough money to go for a free trip okay awesome that's it So today's video is quite a long video. Sorry for all the lag issues. Next week I'm back at home. I'm leaving. Uh, I'm I'm reaching Bangalore back on uh, Monday, so I'm going to be back at home and I'll be doing videos from there. So don't worry about it. This week was a budget week. Budget week is over. Now next week, what are the things that are happening? Right. Uh, next week, what we're going to do is let me tell you what I have on my content calendar for you guys this week. Let me tell you. next week i am going to do february next week okay i'm going to do a result update lotus labs ka result aaya happiest minds ka result aaya sona sona blw ka i'm waiting that also will i think it's come out but i'll do a result update for you guys so three result updates in one episode um apart from that now apart from that the three winners that actually won in that small case um, uh you know that invest in idea giveaway that i did that massive giveaway and they gave me their small cases and the three stocks that they did and they gave me their research i was going through a lot of the research again right that day and when i saw that i saw a few things that are quite interesting so i'm going to come that day and i'm just the three winners the themes that they have chosen the three themes that the winners have chosen i'm going to do my own um i'm going to create my own basket for all those three themes i'm going to make my own assumption i'm going to make my own analysis for those three themes for the winners and i'm going to uh, make my own basket for that or make my own small case for that and i'll show it to you guys right just simply i want to track this so i'm doing that uh, also on tuesday um and then i'll do a crypto video because crypto is also some lot of things are going on in that I, this whole week i didn't i don't think i did a crypto video so i'll come back and do a crypto video next week uh, then this month i'm going to do a us video on tesla i so badly want to do it on facebook and i want to buy facebook so i'm thinking whether should i do tesla or facebook you guys drop it in the comments what do you want you want tesla or facebook as a us stock investing for this month uh, because i'm going to do proper live uh, research on it yeah so all these small small things are coming up this month let's see let's see awesome chalo again thank you guys this is weekend research with me shashank gurupa on a weekend uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked it and if you liked it click on the like button below i am going to see you guys soon uh, take care see you guys bye